What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just uploaded two videos which was my brand new Odyssey putter and a review of a Callaway XR5 wood. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. Uh, links will be in the end of the video on the end screen. So let's get to today's video. Um, a lot of people, they do like collecting golf balls and like different golf course they've been to so they'll buy a golf ball from just like the keep and uh if you look at the prices of like the actual golf ball cases to put them in like a big holder they're like really expensive so they they range from like 30 bucks to a hundred dollars but um i'll put some screenshots up on the screen now of uh some examples that i've seen online of like the golf ball holders but um today in the video i'll be showing you how to build one for like 30 bucks um on the screen now is like the piece of wood that you'll need. It's a two by eight by 10. It's like a decking board for like decks and stuff. But uh, that's all That's all you need. And you need a drill and then a three quarter inch paddle bit. And uh, that's all you need. Some, um, I guess, inch and three quarter screws. And uh, all you do is you take that two by, two by eight by 10 you split it down the middle so make it four inches on both sides. And then uh, you cut it to the length you want. How many, it all depends on how many balls you want in each row. But uh, for our collector balls, like, I mean like, I don't know if y'all can see it. The ones like this, like the Masters logo. It's a Tyler's Pro V1 with the Masters logo on it. Like something like that. Yeah, but uh, I'll show y'all how I did mine. Uh, I'll give y'all the depth, like the length and stuff of it. Um, how far you should drill each hole. But uh, I mean, it took me like 30 minutes to make it. I mean, it's real simple, but uh, let's get to it. Okay, so um, here's mine, my golf ball holder. Um, as you can see, I have 10 slots for a ball on each row. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five rows, so mine holds 50 balls. But um, mine is uh, 23 inches wide and it is, um. 21 inches tall. I made it so where each golf ball is an inch and three eighths apart. So that way, um, I'll show y'all right here, for example. So when it's sitting, when it's sitting in there, they're not like crammed up against each other. You have a little bit of space. And uh, so the holes you drill, um, uh, you don't drill them, but probably a quarter inch at the most. Cause all you gotta do is have it for the golf ball is just gonna sit in there like that to uh, so a hold but um all you do is you take your outside pieces cut them to the length you want it you just have a top plate which is this piece right here and then once you got that and this one then you measure from this point in the inside to that point on the inside to get your middle rows and he's coming through the side over here and you put some screws on the side and uh like i said it's, it's real sturdy so um it is it's affordable other than like the ones online. So um, that's how you build a golf ball holder for display purposes. So um, if y'all like the video, just uh, like it. And if y'all mind clicking that subscribe button, it takes like two seconds. And uh, I say it's real real simple, real affordable. If y'all want to, y'all could get a piece of plywood, like like quarter inch plywood, maybe even eighth inch and uh, go behind it. And y'all can put like felt there or something just to make it prettier y'all could stain it with a, dark, with a darker color i haven't stained mine yet but i plan to but uh it's real simple real affordable um like i said it takes like 30 minutes and uh i hope you enjoy the video and i'll see y'all later 